Well, it's hard to believe a mom can be so brainwashed by a cult. She watched her own baby starve to death. His body ultimately stuffed inside a suitcase. Well, that's what the child's grandmother says about a mom now facing first degree murder charges. And you wonder, what did that little boy do to deserve that? Well, here's the answer. He wouldn't say amen after meals. Steve Vine from Baltimore Prime News affiliate WBFF spoke to the grandmother. She said, Mommy, I never did nothing wrong in my life. And now I'm going to get the death penalty. The pictures are tough to look at for Sita Kadan. If tears could build a stairway and memories are laying, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. It's the only memories of a grandson she barely knew and her daughter, who's now charged with killing him. My daughter loved her son. There's no doubt about that. She loved that baby. That baby, investigators say, 21-month-old Javon Thompson was purposely deprived of food and water because he wouldn't say amen after meals. Javon's mother, Rhea Ramakasson, is now charged with first-degree murder in the death of her son. Sita claims Rhea was a member of the religious cult One Mind Ministries. She blames the cult's leader, known as the Queen, for brainwashing her daughter and starving her grandson to death. Accusations, Sita says, she brought to the city's attention but was ignored. If they had done what they were supposed to do, that baby would have been alive. Charging documents obtained by Fox 45 paint a picture of the last few moments of Javon's life. Statements given by witnesses, including two school-aged children, tell how the child's body was left in a bedroom for more than a week after he died. Other witnesses claim Rhea watched as her son's lifeless body was placed in a suitcase. That suitcase was later found in a Philadelphia home. Now this grieving grandmother questions why cult leaders are not charged with killing her grandson. Because you wouldn't say amen? You won't starve him to death? I think that's the murderer. She is the one. How heartbreaking is that? Our thanks again to Prime News affiliate uh, WBFF for that report.